everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm with Jojo and we're going to do some simple trotting exercises that you can work on with your horse that's maybe a little green in the saddle. Okay, well with a green horse you're gonna work on their trotting commands and you work on getting them a little bit more um, consistent every time. And that means listening to your legs and following a plan. So a nice little circle with a couple of little trot poles give them something to pick up their feet on and it gives you something to aim for. So I know that I have to get her in between these. There we go. And I'm squeezing her forward, getting her over. And I'm gonna, she's not listening as well to my leg. There we go. And now I can go into a little more of a consistent trot. But it's just gonna be going over and around in circles. And the thing about when you have an area like this where you can make a nice little circle in the middle, change direction. Come on. The more you do, and if you add obstacles, you know, you add a couple of little trot rails, you give yourself, you know, an area to go. It makes it a lot less boring and you can get a lot more done in a quicker amount of time. Now, like I said, I want her listening less. I'm just gonna really loosen up all my reins and mainly use my leg, inside leg right there. But number two, to keep her from cutting in, less rein. Now button number three right here, get her hindquarters over and bows back to number two. And there we go. So without me pulling on her mouth at all, she's starting to understand where the circle is by me using outside leg right there, outside leg and less rain. So now I'm gonna try to stop her off my seat. Oh, good girl, good girl. All right, let's see how well she listened. Now let's go for the back. There we go, as soon as I put pressure, she's giving me her head now, which is awesome, but I need her to back up. So let's back up, and she's bringing in her nose. Come on, back up. Good girl, back up. Oh, that is excellent. So already, just in a few short sessions, she's already understanding that when I'm asking her to back up, she needs to give me her nose, and she's already giving a whole lot better to pressure on her mouth. This is really only about the fifth time that she's had a bit in her mouth, and the difference between the way that we've trained her so far with a, uh, with a hackamore is she was working off of pressure with her nose. So I'm really, really proud about how her development in a bit is coming along. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button. We're putting out new content every week. And remember, and if you haven't already, check out our playlist.